Welcome back to CS Coins. I got a quarter box today. We got about, uh, I'd say three quarters uh, customer wrap, and then we got a couple Loomis rolls down in there. And then we got a nickel box, and that's gonna have all machine wrap Loomis. So I'm gonna start on the quarters. I'll uh, let you guys know if I find anything. All right, guys, I'm on rule 11, and we're gonna have our first keeper. This is a misaligned die error. So you can see that the uh, rim is kind of fatter on the bottom than it is the top. The top, there's almost no rim. And then if we flip it over, the rim's gonna look normal. So a lot of collectors overlook these coins, but they're worth a few bucks. So definitely worth keeping on to. We have a last minute find on the last roll here. And it's a uh, Delaware spinning horse uh, error. So you can see there's a die crack right there coming from the horse's mouth. So it looks like it's spitting. I've never found one of these, but uh, pretty excited to have it. It was a pretty cool area right there. So um, that's it for the quarter box. We're gonna get it onto the nickels now. This box is off to a really slow start. I'm already on uh, roll nine here, but I got a 1941. First keeper of the box. Same roll and we're gonna have another 1941 a little bit later. Not too bad, we'll take it. I'm on roll 12 now and we're gonna have a back-to-back -back 40s nickel find right here, 1940 and 1948. Uh, and they're both gonna be Philadelphia. I'm on roll 14 now and check that out guys. We got a Civil War nickel, 35%. And it's gonna be a 1944 Denver. That is awesome. All right, hopefully we can get a couple more of those. If not, a Buffalo nickel. Now on roll 18 and I got a 1947. That's gonna be a San Francisco. We're on roll 19 now. I think it's gonna be a pretty good roll. We got this 41 on the end right here. And then we got a couple possible war nickels. So uh, I will take those out and show you guys what we got. All right, guys, that first one is not gonna be a war nickel. It's just a modern one. And where's the other one? Right there. Yes, that is gonna be a war nickel, San Francisco. And it's gonna be a 1942, awesome. I don't even think I have a 42 war nickel yet, so I'm super happy about that. That's the second war nickel for the box. Guys, you're not gonna believe it. I'm on that same roll. Looky there. We got a buffalo. Um, that looks like it's gonna be a 1923. So that is, that's actually my oldest confirmed coin, coin roll hunting. That's uh. I have another Note 8 Buffalo, but this one is, uh, that's going to be my oldest confirmed Buffalo nickel and oldest coin, coin roll hunting. So what a box and what a roll. That is awesome. Got a little excited in that last clip, and uh, I don't think this Buffalo nickel is actually my oldest coin, coin roll hunting. I think I have some teens wheat pennies, but it's it's definitely my oldest nickel. But uh, we got an old uh, reverse here, so we're going to see what it is together. 1941. Nice, so that's the third 41 of the hunt. Let's keep going. I'm on roll 27 now and I got another find here. 1946, Philadelphia. It's uh, slowed down a lot, but uh, still can't complain. This has been a really great box. I'm on roll 29 now and uh, I got a 1940. This one's gonna be a San Francisco. Not too shabby of a pile there. Box has slowed down a lot. I'm on roll 36 now and we got a 1941 Jefferson. We're gonna have a dime on roll 39 here. It's gonna be, let's see the date on this. 2019, so it's five cents, I'll take it. Five cents profit. Same roll as that dime, and we're gonna have a 1958 in really good condition. It's gonna be a Denver, and uh, it's got quite a few steps, so uh, it's a really nice coin. It's got some luster left on it, so I'll hold on to it. I didn't catch this before, but that 58, that's actually gonna be an error coin. As you can see on his head, he's got a die crack on his head. So um, yeah, that's an awesome find. Roll 41, and this one actually had me tricked for a minute. I thought it was a 60s nickel because of the uh, the Monticello building was protruding a bit, but uh, flipped it over. We're gonna have a 1939 second year Jefferson. Same roll as that 39, and we're gonna have back-to-back -back oldies. We've got a 57 and a 47. I don't keep the 50s nickels, but um, we will definitely take the 47. I'm not gonna keep this one, just thought I would show it. Uh, I don't know what this person was using, but somebody beat this one up to crap. It's just uh, punctures all over it, so. Interesting find, but uh, nothing great. We're gonna have another 40s nickel on roll 46. 
1941 Philadelphia. Looks like we're gonna have one last find on roll 50 before we wrap up here. It's gonna be a 1940 Philadelphia. See you guys at the wrap up. Just pretty happy with the finds out of the boxes today. So uh, let's get into it and recap what we got. We had that uh, spitting horse Delaware quarter in the quarter box. I was really happy to have that. I've been looking for one for quite a while now. And then we also have um, another die crack coin. This one being that 1958 Jefferson and then we got my oldest buffalo nickel here, 1923. I was really happy to get that one too. Very nice coins. Uh, we got those two war nickels, 19. One of them was a 1942. This 1944 Denver was uh, the one, and then this one is going to be a 42 San Francisco. Always happy to have more silver. And then we ended up getting a 39 and 13 other 40s nickels. So pretty great hunt. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting back into it soon. Uh, so please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.